Welcome to the new low podcast where every episode is a new low. We have are you and that that's me. That's that's me. <laughs> that's me. I mean I think it's you're supposed to wait oh yeah you did say where every episode is a new low. Yeah, I mean you're supposed to say my name is so and so and then join me. They don't already know me already. <laughs> Yeah, they know. Me. All right, so my name is. Well, I don't really feel yeah, comfortable my saying is... my own name. You guys gotta have that. Yeah, I have that shit, dude. That's why I don't think it. Yeah, I have that. You, are you? You have that? Not really. No, you don't. I feel so uncomfortable saying my own name sometimes. I mean, a lot. Do, of, do that shit again. A lot of the times, no. We just jump in and do. People know jump who we right are, man. Okay. They can jump into episode yeah. one if they don't know us. Just in case you didn't know, I'm a monkey boy. I'm on the shitty YouTube channel. And, and I'm, I'm active on social media. I'm Dashin, leader of the channel. I mean, the channel is my name. Yes. And we have He's Ayub. Ayub, the legendary... Uh, Pokemon master. I'm just here, bro. He's just here. Ayub, I'm just here chilling, man. So I'm, we have, I'm trying to hype you up. We have a yeah. lot of topic today. We prepared a lot for this episode. I would say like we did a week's worth of preparation. For those of you wondering why it's been so long... <laughs> It's because we've been pre- preparing for this episode specifically. Oh yeah. oh yeah. We're not unprepared at all. So this so, this is going to be a Valentine's Day special, right? Should we do that? Yeah. You smell that shit. You smell, you smell that. Smell that. Smells That's like love. smells like up dog in here. Up dog. Oh, what's up dog? <laughs> not <Nothing> much, bro. <laughs> 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 smells uh, like uh, smells like <laughs> ligma. <laughs> smells like ligma in here. I thought it would suck more. No, it smells like love. It smells like love because today is Valentine's Day. <laughs> yo, yo, you know, I know we're recording. You're recording all that, right? But we, we could talk about um, you're on the news, uh, Sagandis. Sagandi? Oh, Sagandis nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> God, <laughs> damn it, <laughs> <laughs> bro. That's Damn like it. an actual pro moment right there. Damn it! Oh uh, man, I heard a Sagandi <laughs> joke like a few days ago at like four in the morning and I was cracking up so loud. Dude, I don't know, it was just funny. Oh, it's man. just I don't know. It's really Joe. Wait, there's not a Joe here. <laughs> Joe Mama. <laughs> Damn, yo, <laughs> what the, yo. Ah, oh, man. Anyways, yeah, it's Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Chinese New Year, is it? Same day? Yes. Yeah, no, Valentine's Day is on the 14th. Mm-hmm. And Chinese New Year is today. Oh, isn't Valentine's yeah. Day like a special thing where it's like the third Sunday of or something? No? Mm, no, I think so. You'll be celebrating for two days before. Is and tomorrow. It- I'm s i am I'm not very well versed with uh remembering dates and stuff. But yeah, Valentine's Day, you guys I'm pretty sure Ganesh and I don't have an interesting Valentine's Day story. I mean Ganesh you might have some. You you've been you've been the I would say like an ad saint, bro. Dicks come to me. But I reject them because I'm a saint. You know? Yeah, me and Ganesh are like Buddhist monks. We practice uh Brahmachar Brahmacharyana. It's when you yeah. it's when you have celibacy and you don't get involved with uh sexual yes. related stuff. But are you I'm pretty sure you have Yeah some interesting shit. Yeah, actually there are a few holidays today, you know, like but they're all like non religious holidays. They're like today, happy dream your sweet day, happy get a different name day, happy international na- I can't read International Natural Day. Happy Ooh. Kiss Day. Happy oh, yeah. National Cheddar Day. Happy National Internet Friends Day. That's us, bro. <laughs> That's, I mean, yeah. We're not internet friends. I mean, we yeah. now we are. We used to be not, but now we are. But yeah. The, but Valentine's Day has been a while. It's been a while. It's been since the 1960s when they invented Valentine's Day. But the thing is, how you mentioned Happy Kiss Day, right? It's actually a follow-up of different holidays, which ends on Valentine's Day. So you have like the Teddy Day, Chocolate Day, Hug Day, 
proposal day something like that i i i'm not sure the order but it's along the way though and then at the end it's valentine's day no I, i really don't have much of oh. a story for valentine's day i don't hold think... on bro you know what, 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 keep what, what? no the thing is you know it's 1205 for me right and it's february yeah. 12th and i thought it was before 12 and i thought it was february 13th for you guys so i was listening february 13th holidays and not february 12th holidays ah oh, damn it so we got to name the february uh what 13 No, actually the twelfth. I thought it was thirteen. All right, now, now, can you list down the holidays of the right day now? Can't bro, be- I got you. I bl- can't believe you just blundered that hard, bro, on the freaking new low pod. But happy Darwin Day. There we go. Happy National Freedom <laughs> to Mary Day. Happy National Plum Pudding Day, bro. Pudding, all right. Plum pudding, huh? Yeah, what it is. But oh yeah, plum pudding for the win. That's it. Actually, there's a lot more. Happy Darwin Day. Happy Georgia Day. Happy Hug Day. Happy okay, wait. Georgia day. the con- can... Georgia the country or Georgia the state? The state. The state. All right. Should have mentioned that. Happy International Day against the use of ch- child soldiers day. Oh, oh, that's good. I like that. Happy, <laughs> happy National Lost Penny Day. Happy oh, No lost... One Eats Alone Day. Is that Japan exclusive? The Lost Panties Day. <laughs> Oh, penny, penny. A penny, not oh, penny. Penny. I thought it was panties. Yeah. Why would you say that? Are you are you like secretly are you like secretly racist? No, I've been watching Dragon Ball, like the original Dragon Ball, and there's a lot of like that kind of stuff in Japan. I think like a uh, pervert ah. kind of thing. Pervert culture. It's quite strong yeah. in Japan. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if that's a lost panties day where they just go look for panties. I feel like that's really strong in Asia in general. No offense, not like Malaysia, but. Like you know, I'm saying o- openly pervert. Yeah, like you know, like Asia kind of like you look at anime and shit, and you look at Asian, you know, stuff. And I think it's like there's it, a weird feel to it, you know. I think you're just judging it based on me, like just because oh. just because I'm <laughs> like that doesn't mean the whole freaking continent is like that, bro. bro. But yeah, J- but Japan especially, I think it's like very different the culture they have it. Uh, perverts and all that because a lot of the perverts are very accomplished and like it's not it's not like uh well sometimes they do fuck up it's a weird yeah, it's yeah. weird culture thing there it's true okay but Back. anyway the point is what what you have any interesting valentine's day story is there anything particular that happened in valentine's day throughout your life no no nothing like worth noting nothing worth noting that's trick, a... though okay uh but we'll do this on valentine's day so take a packet of any tea like green tea lemon tea whatever lah. you know mm. that the packet looks like a condom oh yeah, yeah. It, take a picture and then drop like hinting comments or captions like hey, love is in the air or the bullshit post it online and just wait chicks think... will go crazy I think I did. I did that once. Like I took the, like the tea packet that looks like a condom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did that. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm a big pervert. That's what I do. I just, I sh- show off tea that look like condom packets. That's what I do, man. I don't think I have, I have any interesting Valentine's Day story yet. So for the women that are watching this, I was just kidding about the whole Brahmacharya and thing. You know, I don't give a shit, man. I don't give a shit if my soul is trapped in the fucking. wrong dimension i i just want some just want some p word bro i just want some wet ass p word as ben <laughs> shipper would say wet certified freak seven days a week wet ass p word make your pull out game weak yeah 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 you're dealing with some wet ass p word you know what i'm saying bro i know exactly what you're saying But yeah, I don't think all my whole life Valentine's Day, I mean, first of all, it's Yeah, it's not it's not much of a significance, honestly. It's much of capitalist propaganda do it. Just chocolate is overrated, money. especially now. You shouldn't be getting chocolate to your like loved one. Especially if they yeah. Diabetes. But how about relationships They're... though? No, no experience, man. That's the problem. You know been in a relationship, man? Nah. Nope. Uh, you too, are you? Nope. Really? 
Yeah. Word. I've been in one. Dang. How'd it go? I think How long one. did it last? I think it's one. I don't know if it's two or one. I've been in one. And I don't know how long it lasts because we didn't really formally break up. It's just it, it dissolved eventually. I guess we just separated ways and all that. Damn. So maybe I'll find her one day. Find her back. But she yeah, gone, bro. It's like a really old it's a really old relation. Let me see how long ago it was. Oh. Like um let me see how long ago it was. Let me check the timeline that I'm in. So I'm twenty this year, right? Or twenty one? Twenty one? Twenty one. Twenty one? You're stupid. Twenty one. So that's about seventeen years ago. Bro, what? <laughs> Bro. That was seventeen years ago. The cut and bullshit. No, it's legit. It's seventeen years ago. I didn't really consent to the relationship or anything. I was just kind of forced into it. Bro, you're a victim, bro. <laughs> the victim, right? But yeah, I mean, we didn't really formally break up. It was just seventeen years ago. I met this girl. She's like half Indian, half like American, or some bullshit like that. And yeah, we were in a relationship. I didn't really know what much of it was. I didn't know what relationships were. I just knew that it was not friendship. I just knew it wasn't just friendship. It was a special thing, but I didn't know what that special thing was. And you know what? what? Even to this day, I don't know what that is. You know what I'm saying? Why? Actually, I do uh, know. Yeah. It's yeah, it's man. Because we don't have experience, bro. Exactly. Yeah. But, we really don't. But you know, to all the single, single folks out there, Step up your game. But you know what would help? I is feel like... Attack? Say what? Is it a personal attack or something? Come on, man. Step up what your game? game? Yeah, dude. Bro. No, it's not. It's just you. encouragement. Yeah, was it? But you know what would help? Uh, what I've been doing is, um, like, first, like, you got to learn how to talk to females, right? You got to learn how to talk to people in general. Because, mm -hmm. like, me personally, like, if I don't know the person, I can't really hold a, like, good long conversation, right? So, like, I've been joining a lot of random discords, and I've been talking in their voice chats oh, with yeah. a random people. You come to think of it, I am, yeah. Just, like, talking to women is a bit of a, it's very awkward for yeah. me. Yeah. But, like, once you really think about it, what? Is the worst that can happen, you know what I'm saying? Asking for her panties or something? Master Roshi style? Well, no. What, what's the worst that can happen to you, I meant? You, you get, get roasted? You yeah. get roasted, you get rejected. That's it. Oh, no, no. One. Actually, you know what? You know what's the worst thing? You freaking, you do a mistake, right? And then, mm -hmm. and then, even after it's done, you yourself, like, repeat that mistake in your head and you're like, holy fucking shit. And that shit haunts you. Even, like, three years down the line, you still think about that mistake and it freaking, like, drags you in. It, like, sucks you in your own body. It sucks you in your own heart. Your heart feels like, I'm like, oh, shit, I did that three years ago. I was fucking, I did that shitty thing. I it was being cringy kind of thing. But it's a learning experience, right? You it should. is. It is. Yeah. It's that, uh, I think it's the feeling of regret and shame but, kind of thing. I think uh, What's the worst that could happen? Not getting any answers at all. You know what I mean? Like not getting easy. getting left on right. Getting an answer, like a proper answer, like yes oh. or no. At least getting getting rejected is. I think at least you know. That's not the worst case scenario, though. You think? I feel like I'm there's a lot more worse can. things that can happen. She invites you over, and then she just eats you. She like cannibalizes what? you. That's that's oh, something that's worse. I would say. Like you right. talking... okay. okay, my question: What's the average girl's height? What, like five four? Average, five, three or like, like globally. Globally. What's the average girl's weight? Like one twenty? Are you telling me you're gonna let a five four one twenty pound girl beat you up, bro? What if she fucking tranks you with like a little syringe, and you yeah. didn't realize? What if she roofies your drink? Women do that, man. Women are crazy. I'm mean, not all. That is true, but why though? Like, what are the chances? I mean, yeah, the chances are really low, but I'm saying that's just the worst case scenario, really, isn't it? Then again, is oh, yeah. it though the worst case scenario? At least you're like entertaining you a bit, and she maybe she's Bro. she's kind of eating you like for her pleasure, which is kind of ultimately what most men uh, end up living their eating life for. Or 
Yeah, yeah sure. eating you, not in a sexual way. Like she actually kills you and cannibalizes you and keeps you in the fridge for leftover. It's freaking some oh, Hannibal. That... Cannibalism, yeah, it happens, man. People do cannibalize each other. But it's not that common, right? It's not that. It common. can't be that common. No, it's definitely not that common. It's definitely like maybe ten cases in ten years, kind of thing. You hear about something like this. It's like nothing you should worry about. What the? Yeah. I mean, again, we're looking at the worst case scenario, though. It's like the fringe chances that this would happen. No, but in all reality, the worst case scenario that can happen is you're probably going to be left on scene, blocked, or rejected. But I, I could t- let me tell you this one story. I got this one girl Snapchat right a while back, mm-hmm. and uh, basically I was like, "Hey, we were talking for a bit, right?" And she's like, "Yo, how old are you?" And I'm like, "I'm 20, like three. I, I never you're done lying, yeah. yeah, cause you can't tell me you're real age, bro. Like, bro, like you know what I'm saying? You just can't. Mm-hmm. But anyway, and she's like, "Yo, send a picture of yourself." So I sent a picture of myself, and she blocked me. Oh, word. So in my mind, I'm just saying, yo, maybe because I don't, maybe I don't look that old. No, I she think she just blocked block you because you look. Old. It's not. I'm not gonna take that, bro. <laughs> I think she I just. I think she just blocked you because you looked funny, bro. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you weren't her type. I mean, even if you weren't her type, she would have like laid you off, like, like calmly. Maybe she thought she was, you were just joking or some shit, bro. Or maybe she's just racist. Like honestly, yeah, that's where I was going. That's where my mind was yeah. like, you know what? Maybe she's not into like different ethnics. Yeah, but was it a good picture of you? Or was it like a weird fucking mean picture of you though? Nah, it was. It was actually like a good picture of me, dude. How would I send a bad picture of myself? Wait, how old were you? Eighteen. I was twenty at the time. Twenty. It was last year. Wait, was it a local? Uh, no, it was actually this one girl from London. London? Oh, random Snapchat I found. No wonder they blocked you, bro. Yeah, but they don't know where I am at. Yeah, they don't. But, man, stories of pursuit, though. Like, just pursuing a loved one. You guys have anything interesting on that? Gun, did you ever, like, chased a woman? In real life? Oh, I make women chase me. Make women chase me. You make women chase you. Bro, oh, real man, dude. Nice. Yeah. What about you, Dan? I've chased multiple women around, especially in the parks. Ah, you know when they're jogging they... and they're like jogging, I just like <laughs> I just sprint behind them and. <laughs> did they hit you? Did they hit you with the "Who are you? What do you want from me?" No, I just Bitch, start. Yeah, I that. just start yelling and flailing my arms, and then they just start <laughs> running, and then they just. Yeah, like, <laughs> Yeah, and that happened like I do that very often, like maybe weekly. Bro, <laughs> just, what? Just that random part. What? What? Are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just that <laughs> What? I'm just fucking with you, man. But honestly, uh, but honestly, like, have, do you though? Like, uh, I mean, not like chase women, but like pursue them. Yeah, like heavy. I have. Hard and... I have. This is one time I was hitting on this uh, Chinese chick, and and um. Well, it's really hard to explain the context, but I ended up showing her my my Pepe drawings. I thought you were about to say something else, but okay, keep going. <laughs> yeah, bro, what? I mean, that's not that's she not do that. That's not much to show there, man. You know, uh, yeah, it's okay. Bro. But I just showed her my Pepe drawings. It's hard to explain the context of it because he was in school, and basically during recess, you have to like not be in your class. That was the thing. Yeah, but sometimes you can sneak. Sometimes you can sneak in your own. Sometimes you can sneak in class and shit. So yeah, I just uh, it was just me and her, and we were going through my Pepe drawings. It wasn't romantic at all. It wasn't. I'm pretty sure it wasn't like the neg- opposite of romantic. It wasn't even fun. It was weird. It was right. weird. It was just plain weird. Yeah, that's uh. That's <laughs> it's my that's my work experience. I would say of women pursuing women and chasing women in parks, of course. Yeah, then you pursue me a lot, <laughs> bro. Oh man, you don't have you do have a lot of stories, don't you? Uh yeah. Well, I can tell you, I was until recently. I, I was like, I was a fucking simp. You were down bad. I was down hor. Yes, down very bad. Bro. Horrible. Yeah, it was. He used to be down bad, man. 
starve me like a slave, dude. I was, <laughs> dude. But honestly, like, you think about it, and it's, it's really, like, because, like, man, I don't want to get into this, but, like, you know, my time will come, I feel, you know? And also, it's going to come I, eventually. I think, no, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, because you, when you're young, especially when, like, teenage from, like, 18, I would say 17 to, like, 23, I want to say, that's the time when people are, like, really down bad. That's when you... That's when your your hormones start like fucking going crazy, and you know it's not something that you can quote control in quotation because you can control it, but it's more it's more of a natural response that you can't really do much about except maybe have more self restraint and shit. But yes. yeah, that's what makes you like pursue it. That's what gives you the thirst and the drive to want to pursue a relationship and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's not. It is, yeah, but you were down bad, bro. Yeah, and, like, me being weird as a kid didn't really help out, you know? I was, like, from, like, 14 to, like, 18, I was really weird. <laughs> I was a weirdo, dude. Like, like I was, like, I would understand why a female did not want to talk to me, you know what I'm saying? Were you a weirdo, Ganesh? No, not really. I was more of, like, yeah, uh, how to say introverted in a sense. I talk to people and all that, but I was I was a bit of a weirdo, but I wouldn't say I was like an Ayub weirdo back in high school. Yeah. But I used to do Ayub. weird shit. I had the like Star Lord mask, and I would like um, write this uh, card. What's this? What's that shit? Like a drawer with wheels, and <laughs> I wore like the Star Lord mask, and I was riding yeah. around the hallway on this rolling drawer. Yeah, and I done that one. Yeah. <laughs> I have no, I have very little memory. I have a memory of like a, I have a weird memory. I rem <laughs> I remember things, but I don't remember things in the. I don't remember things that I should and shit. Same. Yes, sir. But, but Ganesh, you never, you, you were never down bad. I mean, like, uh, I'm really not talk about it, lah. So you. <laughs> <laughs> you were down real bad, basically. So you're bas so you're saying you were you were down really bad to a point where you can't talk about it. I prefer not to talk about it because it's it's embarrassing I, I kind of thing. It's not even embarrassing. I don't know what was even going on at the time. I feel like the way men talk about uh, talk to women in like the chats, like if you mm -hmm. expose like every man's uh, DMs, dude. You you would cancel mm -hmm. everyone. That would that's enough to cancel everybody. I don't know, man. I, I'm so I'll give my DMs to you. Just check it out, man. That's all I can see. <laughs> we have to. We're going to analyze the DMs. Finally, God, thank. <laughs> no, but I feel like that's that's the nature of the way you're supposed to like uh, pursue it. It is a bit goofy, isn't it? The thing is, I feel like I can talk better in person rather than me chatting. Yeah, chatting is I, weird. I because the, the most different. I can do is send memes. That's all I can do. I would send a picture of his cock, I think. Oh, shit. Honestly, would not. You would not. That, no. Why? Dude, that shit is so fucking common, though. I, I've, heard, I've heard a lot about like people sending their cocks to people. Yeah, but it's, it's not really polite, you know? Yeah, it's not common in like my circle and the people I know. But I think it's way more common than uh, you think it is. Because you know? we, we don't get any. Especially, yeah, especially nah. like men, dude. Especially I don't know, like, in Twitter, right? Like, there's these accounts mm -hmm. for gay people, I guess. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Really, really messed up ones. Like. They will follow you. Then you think it's like a normal account, right? But once you go see that shit, you, you vomit, like, to be honest. They spam you a picture of cocks. Yeah, like not not even the others, like everyone's you know. And they'll, they'll oh, I don't want that shit. Okay, please. Will they like go I'm to just... your other social media and start sending cocks on that side too? No, no, no. They I'm just not they just spam. find your Instagram and send you pictures of random cocks every day. I, I, post, I post pictures of toys for God, God damn it! I don't want this shit. But Wait, how did yeah, you? But, how did you get? How did that Twitter page even find you? Do they follow you? <laughs> yeah, they followed me. I don't know how they found all it. Bro, I I like shit. Freaking written to monkey memes and all that shit. Yeah, but if they follow you, they don't send pictures of cock to you, do they? 
No, 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 no. They don't. But they, I think they want to like. If let's say I didn't notice, right? We give them a week or two. They will start sending DMs, lah. But the thing is, I don't give time. I just block straight away. Damn. You know what I mean. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So you know what? Can we give some advice? What kind of advice would you guys give during this Valentine's Day, like in general? Man, what I would. Yeah, advice to like either women or men or anything. I guess I'll go first. Um, wait. Um, I think I'd wait. I think my Discord crashed. What the fuck? No, I think it's fine. Oh, whoa, whoa okay, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought I disconnected. Game, I thought I disconnected. Oh, your game yeah, crashed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what? What I'd say is, you know, don't be like me, dude. Like this, fucking talk to people. Especially when you're young, you know what I'm saying. So you don't have to learn how to talk to people when you grow up. Mm-hmm. Talk to more people. Yeah, like talk to. People. Stop. Don't be a weirdo. Don't be a weirdo. You know. Yeah. How about if you have like intentions to sleep with a person, for instance, uh, or to. Oh, it's not. Or I to, don't think that. Uh, to put your cock in them or something I really like don't that. Know. How blunt do you have to be? I feel like it depends on the person, I guess. Like yeah, yeah. I guess. just talk to people. Don't be awkward and weird. And I know that's easier said than done, but I think I know it's intentions. I I know it's easier said than done to be like, oh, you don't be awkward and talk to more people. But it's it's really something they have to work on slowly. You can't just be like, oh, okay, I'm gonna start doing that right away and I'm gonna be good. No, it's slow. I think it's a step. It's a step by step process, dude. Yes. Yeah. Ganesh, your advice. You no, know, you must know boundaries, lah. Yeah, I mean, don't, obviously, don't tell people you want to bury a cock in them. Yeah, unless you and want. Don't send them pics, lah. Any, any pics, <laughs> yeah. male or female. Any, definitely, any, don't, don't send definitely pics, don't lah. send a take a picture of a cock and send it over and say I want to bury this in you. Don't don't do that. We don't advise that, so don't do it. Yeah. I know it might be sounding like we're saying do it, but no, we mean don't it. Do don't it. do it. But you know what? You know what I actually realized, and this might actually sound fucked up, but women want it just as much as men. I feel like cox. I don't yeah. think men want cock, bro. Men, that's kind of. I mean, maybe gay men cool. do, but no. Well, you, you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> I feel like I women I mean, want I, as I, much I, as men. Yeah, I know. I yeah, I agree with you. I, like, I, when I, I was young, I, I used to think all women are pure. You know what I'm saying? Driveless. They don't want they don't have drive yeah. and the urges. No, they have the like same hormonal drives as men. I think that's a misconception yeah. where they, people think they don't have uh, the drive. It's it's a mechanism of evolution, man. It's in both of the genders. I think at least we have too much, so we have overpopulation at the point at this point. Yeah, it, it worked too well. It worked a bit too well. Well, exactly. So, Ganesh, what's your advice for enduring this Valentine's Day to both men and women? If you want to go for it, you want to propose to someone, go ahead. I mean, not not both men and women, like either one. If if you want to choose like one that's oh, gender specific, choose. if you want to, um, uh, any general advice, basically. I this is not gender specific. I'll just say, don't be too desperate, lah. That's all I can say. Damn, bro, that's. I wish I wish you had said that to me last two years ago. Damn. Sorry, man. I wish I had that. that I wish I had that advice. I'm gonna write it down right now in my fucking diary that I write. Bro, it's a, it's it is an important lesson though, not being too desperate. And like I have some self respect. But you have to be desperate. The thing is, you have to have some level of desperation, but you can't be too desperate. That's why people think, oh. It's a one and zero thing. No, it's you have to tone your desperation to a certain level. That's true. But don't be too desperate, which is a super, super easy thing to fall into. I would say, especially yeah. if you're if you're not familiar with like uh, being in a relationship, if you're not familiar with like talking to people in general, you can try start to get ahead of yourself a little too little too fast, and that's when you start being more more and more desperate and more and more. You want that kind of uh, attention in your in your life, maybe. And I guess now it's my turn to give my advice, and yeah. I'm gonna. 
I'm going to give uh, advice to women, actually. My advice is going to be focused to a certain gender. It's to women. Y'all got to stop being so fucking weird. Y'all got to stop being freaks. You know, I'm sick and sick and tired of seeing, like, women wanting, like, uh... You know, there's... I'm, I'm serious about the, like, girls liking those, like, uh, what? Like, really bad people kind of thing, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, nice guys, yeah. one, dude. That's what happened. It's, uh, it's a lot more women than you think that like those kind of shit. You all gotta stop. No you all gotta stop liking like choking and shit. That's weird. Yeah, right. Fuck, it's a dinosaur. Oh, you playing Ark? Yeah. Oh uh, shit. I fuck, oh shit! I punch and it's, well, my, and I'm out of stamina. <laughs> in all I'll seriousness, it's all in all seriousness though. I love women. Sometimes a little too much. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, <laughs> e. All right, so let's get out of love. We already did our advice thing. I'm, I'm kidding, by the way. I, I think women are, women are all perfect. They're not freaks. They're not weird. Everybody has a propensity, 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 propensity. I don't even know. Well, what the... I hear the shit and you get cancelled instantly. No, I, I love women. Love them or hate them. They do be, they do be cooking. Fuck. Yeah. I cook better than most women. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that fucking thing right here. I, I yeah. bet. Damn. I bet money. I can definitely cook better than a lot of women. You know, honestly, I can't say the same. I'm a pretty good cook. I can cook like shit I've never seen before. You know, you can wow. give me a slab of like uh, Godzilla meat. Okay. <laughs> I can know how to cook it. Okay. But anyways, that's enough uh, Valentine's Day talk. I think we it's a bit of a sweet and sour thing, isn't it? All right, so let's get let's get to our next topic. I think we'll just we wanted to talk about what Gina, right? Gina, kerosene or yeah. something. What's her name? It's actually Gina Carano. Yeah. Gina Carano. Carano. Yeah. A boxer, actor. Um, she was in Fast and Furious, I remember. Deadpool. She was in Deadpool. That's the woman. Strong woman. She's a strong mm -hmm. woman. She is. She is. So, what's the story? The story is... Uh, she posted some stuff online on social media. People didn't like it. Though. That's it. That's the story. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's the story. <laughs> All right. Bye. Take care. I mean, okay, la, you see, it's, it's not really to, in comparison with what uh, Amber Hart and Johnny Depp did, right? Mm -hmm. Amber Hart abused uh, Johnny Depp and still uh, Warner Brothers uh, kept Amber Hart but fired Johnny Depp. Mm -hmm. You know? being taking comparing with that scenario with this i feel it's really unfair for Carano in this case or for gina in this case because she just posted some pictures online that's all it could be meme format and all that it's not really like oh uh kill everybody or like shaming and all that I, some say that she she was transphobic in some Cases, but I really. All right, I do see I, the, I do see the trends uh, tweet. Yeah, should I read it out? Yeah. I don't think I don't think uh, trans people would like all of you trying to force a woman to put something in her bio, through harassment and name calling every day for months, such as racist, transphobe, bitch, weirdo. I hope you die. I hope you lose your career. You're fat. You're ugly. I don't think trans people would like all of you trying to force a woman to put something in her bio. I don't understand. Oh, it's like the that. pronouns, basically. Like pronouns. Oh. I have pronouns on my chat. I mean, on my, on my profiles, but that's a small thing. It doesn't even impact me. That's put key here. But, but I really don't know in her case like, what she was trying to say. I think she's saying that trans people don't really give a shit about that and it's very insignificant to them. Maybe, maybe not. That's the thing. We have seven point what billion people, so we can't cater for every one of them. That's the thing. 
then don't is what she's saying Hello. yeah so it's like you don't like you let's say a person didn't put pronouns right mm -hmm. is it really a crime is it really uh, i think people who do put pronouns is kind of it's kind of like you're pro labeling it's almost kind of the opposite of what you're trying to achieve i think to be honest yeah, that's what i thought it's but like, i just put just in case you know it's like it's it's an even bigger issue if you put it front and center i think even though it's not an issue to begin with you know what i'm saying yeah. if there's a case how, how about the people that they don't identify themselves like they are gender fluid well if they're gender Is fluid it? and if it's a big part of their personality whatever but yeah. if it's not then just set it back it's, it's not every it's not really a, like a really transphobic comment in my opinion. Yeah, like, in my opinion, that was not that transphobic. So what else but did she do? Ones, I can't say that much. So. Then she compared with the death of Jews with something in, in this uh, era. Mm -hmm. With the meme and all that. It's not even a meme, it's just like a picture saying that uh, the Republicans are similar to Nazis and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Some, some American thing. Uh, so she basically got it? dropped from Disney, right? Yeah, Lucas. No, 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 no Disney. Lucas Films. But Disney, does Disney own See, Lucas? I, uh, Disney, I think so. They, uh, they don't own, right? They do own Lu Lucas Films, but they're not saying anything. It's just from Lucas Films themselves. Mm. Mm. So they drop her but from her role. Uh, an unsubscribing to Disney Plus now. Huh? In support so, of Gina. Yep. I believe it's like a back and forth thing, right? Like a 360 thing. People are like... So from what I understand, right? It's more like the mob thing. Because you have this woke mob mentality. Like people mm -hmm. who are like super woke. Yeah. And basically they're... They're not ideal for like any situation. They don't solve any problem. Oh, they just come shit and go. They're, they're very, the the whole they're very unproductive. In fact, they are negative productive. They actually make things worse. They drive the yeah. solution away. And that's the mob that she's talking about. Basically, people who look at uh, problems, they make the problem worse, and then they don't even acknowledge. They don't acknowledge it when they're being criticized violently. So I guess she's she was talking against that kind of mob behavior, and. Yeah. Then Lucasfilm was like, "Oh, okay, we'll drop you," because they're pandering. Lucasfilm, I feel like they kind of they kind of want that woke points. They want to get the woke points and shit. That's the Star Wars fandom is already toxic, you know. To be fair, yeah, Star Wars has been woke washed. I would say, woke wash is a I term. I remember when Jar Jar Binks got all the hate. Uh, even the the actor who played got death threats. Jar Jar. Yeah, so it's. You see that. So then, the, then the people, who, the people who are against the mob, but with Gina, they boycotting mm. the actual show that she was dropped from, or they canceling yep. Disney Plus and. Uh, the show is already, you know, so, already so, out there. Both season, mm -hmm. most likely they won't see season three, or they will, you know, edit that shit. Lah. So people are just yeah. disgusted with the behavior of Lucas from dropping it, so they just yeah. drop them. That's fair. Yep. That's I would say that's a bit of a solution. If you don't like the practices of this company, then you just don't don't support the company. That's that's valid. I think that's fair. Yeah, that's great. That's a nice little. The problem that's... is a lot of people they think they are woke, but reality they don't know jack shit. They're broke. You think yes. you're woke, but you're I'll broke. Give you an example: fake feminists, right? Mm -hmm. They see they are feminists because they want to bring. Uh, women's rights equal rights baby equal rights into the picture yes it's a very good cause and i'm all about it you know because to be honest gender should not play a role you know in your opportunity you know like okay. you should have seen yeah, opportunity opportunity must be seen all right mm -hmm. whether it could be a job opportunities or you know, getting getting paid and whatever the problem is the 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 the, the way shifts more towards hate towards men you know like because there's a feminist and let's say someone 
even like even a simple statement trigger them and go go to say all men are trash la uh, yeah i love that man. i love that mob the all men are trash mob Ooh, right. that one. <laughs> i love them i love them to death man they're the best hey, what do you think about this um honestly what will happen to free speech him right yeah what happened what happened like, i feel Are you talking Honestly. about Donald Trump getting banned? Yeah, I swear. Yeah, you you get it back from the fucking channel. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm muting you. <laughs> Don't. You trying to you trying to spin this into a fucking Trump gander. Yeah, this is Trump. Yeah. It's fine. Bro. What happened? We speech. Get out of here. No, nah, no. Nah. But what's your point about fake feminism thing? The thing is, yeah, you don't know what's going on. Let's keep quiet. And also, I'll, I'll, I'll tell this one small example. This happened in Twitter the other day. So there's in Malaysia, there's these few influencers, YouTubers, and all that. So one of these YouTubers posted a a kitchen joke, lah. You know, women belong in the kitchen. You know that joke, right? Yeah, they do. Yeah. So it's it's a joke. It's like you you use it in a daily convo without actually meaning. You know, it, it's just a joke. Mm-hmm. But then. It, It became, you know, the the feminists all came in, started fighting. So, blah, blah, wait, blah, what blah. do you mean by fake then feminism? This, this, yeah, okay, fake feminist stuff. So this then this chick came in. She tagged another influencer because they were friends. Like it seems that the both YouTubers. Thing this is because this because of you and your behavior. This person actually left you and left, uh, go somewhere else, something like that. But then she repeated the tweet saying. Uh, shut that fuck and don't speak for me so at the end of the end of the day you get backfired so certain things you have to keep it to yourselves you don't need to let the whole world know you know you know what i mean yeah i agree yeah. Yeah. You know, not everyone wants to know that whether you you agree with this or disagree with this If if you do that, you see what happened. You get backlash by or backfired by uh, a well-known influencer. Like, to be you, fair, Twitter Twitter is a bit of Twitter is a bit of like a shit post opinion. Well, that's that's always constant arguments there and stuff. That's kind of the nature yeah. of the me- the medium. That's true. That's true. But yeah, so fake what you, like fake fan, feminism you mean like people who actually like share the cause but they don't really agree with it or they don't you see take... the 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 very term of feminism is to bring gender equality right mm-hmm. but some of these are taking the next level where it's actually harming people more than doing good Shit. no yeah oh my bad i mean i would say I that's one, bro We want to spread positive messages, me. right? Okay. Not, not me. It's it's called the new low point. We want to spread this depression and and s- shallowness in everybody's life. It's like so I put it down now. Yeah. Ah, at this point, it's just all this this cancel culture, cyber bullying. They say no to cyber bullying, but then they cyber bully. They say no to cancel culture, yet they cancel people. It's it's more of a hypocritical thing than rather than the actual cause, you know. I think the problem is you're trying to look at like the mob as a single unit when it's really very divided. It's very divided. It's divided among the mob themselves, you know. They have yes. separate yeah. subgroups and all that shit. It's really hard to comprehend if you want to you know group them like how we group our species of animals in this planet. So it doesn't work that way. What's your thought on Gina though like in the bring it back to this story? I, I feel that Okay, they decided to bring her. But if if they decide to bring her back, uh, then they'll have to answer lah why they dropped her in the first place. Huh. I don't think they would do that. I don't think they would bring her back. I think they're like they have to stick to their gun. And the people who disagree, them, I mean, they just be like, yeah, I don't want anything to do with this company. I I think they're disgusting yeah. and their behavior is not what I'm for. Yeah. So I think it's kind of a concluded situation. The people who don't support it, they don't. They don't. They're not going to support it. Yeah. So. Yes, but 
Yeah, but the decision is taken. Now she's no more yeah. in the, in the casting of the Mandalorian. So most likely they'll end her character or they will recast. Mm. Okay, what's your... Let's, yeah, let's, let's tie a knot on that topic. We gotta end soon because I, we gotta watch Ayub stream. We gotta yeah, watch yeah, Ayub yeah, play Ark right. for the first time. Or dude. just join me. All right. <laughs> God, I don't know what I'm doing at all. Uh, <laughs> like, and I think we'll end it after this final topic, which is the Gorilla Glue Girl. What's your thoughts on okay, that? Wait. Do you have anything to say about that? Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. I can see why she used the thing, but could have been much more careful lah, in a sense. Like read the label, you know. Something that everyone can do. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone... In her defense, the bottle looked so sim like kind of. It's almost like the same archetype of product. The way she compared the Gorilla Glue spray bottle, I don't know why there's a Gorilla Glue spray. It's uh, something that I've never known existed. It's like elephant glue. Huh? Yeah, it's <laughs> it's Gorilla Glue spray. Why would you? How would that be practical? You don't, don't you need precision for Gorilla Glue because it's so sticky. Like I don't know what the application is. Maybe that's heavy duty stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's very, it's very, um, it's basically instant re- epoxy. But yeah, I, I can kind of see why she would use that, but at the same time, like, yeah, it's kind of stupid that she did. She, like, Gorilla Glue is pretty famous. I don't know yeah, what's that. Also, yeah? It also made her a lot of money, dude. I think so. Yeah, it did. It did. Over she did no, she got a surgery. People started GoFundMe and she got all the money. Yeah. It, no, the thing was, the, the story went that the girl allegedly uh, wanted to sue Gorilla Glue. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But then, now, the, but she, already said that she didn't, she had no idea or no intent on doing it. And some PMZ website, they, they it seems. They propagated the. Them. Yeah. But the thing is, she's fully aware that she made a mistake. She went through surgery, a four hour surgery. Now she's okay. And I think so we should drop this news like right now. Like, I mean as, as a media, social media, newspapers, anything like any source, like, they shouldn't drop it and How do you feel about her on. getting money though? Because she got a bunch of donations from Did she did she though? She didn't claim of getting any money though. Uh, from the Kickstarter, know, I'm not sure who started it. What if like some rando started like a Kickstarter for her and pocketed all the money? That would be uh, fucked. That would... I don't know, I don't know, but that that will Kickstarter and they got like eighty thousand, I think. Damn. Gorilla girl. Damn. Gorilla glue girl. Me. Bro. Oh my god. Yeah. Crazy. One razor. Seventeen k. Sixteen k. What the hell? Damn. 20 12 hours ago. 20k. Wow. Did she start this or was it like a rando? I think so. Uh, yeah, she and her relative, I mean. Well, I hope that money goes to her. If like people want to donate money to her, then yeah, go ahead. The way I oh, see it. This, if I. If she really did this, right? She got the money, right? Mm-hmm. Technically, paying people. Because they are dumb. Oh, you pay people because they did a mistake. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Did a mistake. It's like, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not a building and get some money. I'm not too bothered by it because people like spend their money on shit anyway. Like they spend money on fucking Twitch, YouTube. Like they spend money on entertainment shit. And she is a TikToker, I think. Yeah. So who knows? Maybe it's just to support the creator. Some bullshit like that. But I feel like, yeah, it kind of... It vaguely, very vaguely sends a message that, oh, mistake is rewarding. Mistakes can be rewarding sometimes. Yeah. But very, right. it's I mean, a very mild message. Lessons. They are not meant to be rewarding. They should be lesson to be learned, you know? Yeah, and the lesson that some people may take away from this is that sometimes you can get 16k dude sometimes you can get 16k usd 
Man, easy. I can build like a couple of gaming PCs with that. I can build a lot of gaming PCs with that. Oh, yeah, I, I what you think about the gorilla girl grew gr go? I don't know. I don't know how she did it. Like you know, have you ever like put super glue on your hands? I have. And like that shit hurts, right? Like I don't know how. I mean, not not intentionally, just like accidentally all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Like that shit hurts, dude. And like I don't know how you don't you, like didn't notice. Yeah, it's pretty instant like, too. But at least you know the internet helped out, I guess. Yeah. All's well that ends well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, what is that? Kind of, kind of smells like Joe in here. Bro, Joe's the name, not a smell. <laughs> Joe, mama. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, Damn. Yeah. Yo. Uh, and Yo. with that joke, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we have to go. We have to play some Ark Survival Evolve. Mm. Uh, this has been a new low. Thanks for watching. I, we all love you guys, especially the women. We love women more than men here. We actually kind of sexist, but in the opposite way that you think. We're pro women. We think women need more rights than men because they can give birth. And if you think about it, men are pretty much can't are gonna be obsolete because you can just uh, take the somatic cell from a woman and start cloning and just get men out of the equation. So yeah, we are working on that. We are funding the research. All new low pod proceeds go to the research to human cloning and somatic cell extraction so we can phase That's men awesome. out. So if you go to our Patreon, you can just donate the money then. It'll directly go to the research to phase men out of society. Men are trash. Yeah. They'll yeah. send them to the trash, baby. Human evolution. Thanks for watching. <laughs> All right, you guys All right. say goodbye All or right. something. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. See ya.